Hey, uh, hey, <clears throat> hello, we are going to be, I'm going to be telling you some creepy, truck driving stories. Okay, so the first one is called the Suspicious Roadkill. Okay. So it so they say I was driving through Montana heading e headed east and my company had miscalculated in my mileage. So I requested an emergency fuel up. I got a response with the nearest gas station that I could get approved at. It wasn't exactly close, so I turned off the main highway and headed toward my stop. It's pitch black. There's no moon, no city lights, and I haven't seen any headlights for about an hour. I'm cruising down the highway, and I see something in the middle of the road at the furthest extent of my headlights, so I slow down naturally as I approach it. When I come to pass it, I get one good glance at it and slam on my brakes as I pass right in the middle of the highway. All I could think was, what did I just see? So I back up, looking in my mirror until I see it's red silhouette in my brake lights. I pull my brakes, put on my jacket, grab my flashlight and hop out. I walk to the back of my trailer and put my light on it. And there it was, a headless, skinless, mangled corpse. I froze and my jaw dropped. I didn't know what I was looking at. I just stood there in the middle of the highway in the cold st air the only sound is the hum of my truck 50 feet back watching the steam rise from this pile of meat there was no fur there was no clothing just a fully intact rib cage with a mess of other miscellaneous bones attached by ligaments i debated calling the police as the rib cage Looked big enough for someone my size, but I looked at my phone and had zero cell service. The nearest town was about 50 miles out. <clears throat> when I put my phone away, I flashed my light around. And standing at the end of the road were a handful of coyotes staring at me. Then they started coming through the fence and trotting in my direction. I figured this is the part where I get back in the truck before I get into a... ...situation. So I did and continued on my way. Alrighty, guys, thank you for letting me share that story with you. I'll make a part two if you want me to. And that was the suspicious roadkill.